Hello, dear listeners. You're listening to Lilia from Lilia's Sunday Podcast. Well, it's Sunday morning. It's actually seven o'clock in the morning on Sunday. And this is a typical autumn morning here in Kiev in Ukraine. Uh, we have this like rainy and cloudy weather with, with wind, yeah, lots of wind. And some leaves are starting to fall down uh, of the trees something like that. So it's a very, very cl- classical uh, autumn morning here in Kiev. Well, I think that soon people will start burning leaves. Oh God, I'm so into that sweet smell. I'm going to start using my favourite perfume with an extract of burning leaves. Well, my boyfriend is very sceptical of it, though. Uh, he says that sometimes some extra things may accidentally go into the pile of burning leaves and ruin the scent. Some things like rubber, plastic, or a piece of poo. I wanted to say a different word, but it's not okay for a girl to swear, is it? Okay, so this podcast is going to be all about swearing. What swearing, you may ask? I presume you know this. Well, swearing, swearing, basically, saying bad words when you're tired or angry, or if you want to make a message more dramatic and emphatic, yeah, when you want to underline some words in your message and you want to, to make it sound a bit louder, right? You want to sound it more dramatic. So uh, I think when you read the name of the podcast, you may have expected me to give you a list of bad, dirty words in English. But no, it's not about that. I'm not going to give you a list of words and explanations, although I find it's an important topic to learn in English, to understand native speakers, right? Uh, but but here, well, actually, I'm going to give you some advice on how to swear and if to swear at all as a learner of English. This is not something you may read in textbooks, right? This is not something you may l- learn from your uh, from your ling- uh, from your English teacher at school. Yeah, okay. Um, so basically, first of all, I'd like to say that me and I presume lots of other girls find men swearing sexy, both in Russian, which is my first language, and in English. But there is a crucial side note here. I like it only when it's natural. Swearing is not okay at school or at school or university. And I think this is only a thing for adults, not for children. But I'm not going to lecture you here. I'll get to the main point of the podcast just in a minute. So should I swear as a learner of English, you may ask? This is my second language, right? This is not my mother tongue. Is it okay to swear? What if I go to a pub with native speakers? Does swearing make me sound more natural? Well, I often find that learners of English try to swear very hard, but they often get it wrong, right? So uh, sometimes uh, they stop the natural flow of their speech just to remember and throw in the swearing word, like the F word or a S-H-A-T word something like that. It doesn't have to be like that. Swearing is an important bit of language to learn, but it's only after you've learned everything else and no one to make your speech more emphatic. It's not cool to swear. Well, it, it, it technically won't make you great and natural. In fact, it makes you sound even more unnatural. Uh, when I went to uni, I used to have a friend who put the word fuck into every sentence. Like, I haven't fucking done my homework, or can I fucking go out, or can I go fucking out of the classroom? It was in random parts of a sentence, and it didn't make any sense, really. Obviously, he thought that the very usage of these words made him big and cool, but overall it sounded rude and terrible. So to be on the safe side, I don't recommend swearing any time, even with your native speaker friends. It even makes you sound a bit needy, like, look how cool I'm trying to be. Not even, look how cool I am, yeah, but look how cool I'm trying to be. And it is really embarrassing if if you get a swearing word wrong. Um, yeah, if you just say a different swearing words or if you put it in in, in, a, in a wrong place, right, which, which very often happens with learners of English. Well, certainly you can't read about this in textbooks. Uh, and, and you can't do any exercises on, like, uh, well, put the word fuck in the right place of a sentence or learn the phrasal verbs with fuck and complete the sentences with them. Right. So you can't really, you can't really learn this uh, of anyone. Uh, 
except for native speakers. So it'll be much cooler if you speak fluent and accurate English. And then, as a little bonus, you may learn swearing from native speakers, but do you really need to sound like that? There's more philosophy to this than it seems. So don't swear. Don't fucking swear, right? Well, I'll speak to you next Sunday, guys. Thanks a lot for listening to this episode of Lily's Sunday podcast. I hope you really fucking find something important in this podcast. So don't forget to message me and tell me what you think about it. Ask me your questions. Uh, find all the episodes of this podcast on liliacardinate.podomatic.com. Uh, if you're listening to the podcast in VK or Facebook, you'll probably see a link below the podcast to follow and check out all the episodes of the podcast. Lots of love from Ukraine. Bye bye, guys.